good everyone i hope you guys have an amazing day uh, so in this video what i'm going to do i will be covering one of the topic of the pd1 uh which is uh which i believe the sales was added uh that's a search option right um normally you know uh when you talk about the search option it means a lot of things right you mean searching a data or searching a record or searching an object so what exactly you mean by search, right? Because Salesforce have given you a lot of options here. So uh, the first thing, you know, you can search, you go to quick find and search for whatever you wanted to do, or you can go to an object manager and look for the name of an object, you can find it. That's that's one of the built-in functionality, right? Let's say, for instance, I wanted to look for uh, approval, yeah? It will give me the list of all the fields uh, which got an approval, uh, name on it uh, that's that's one of the built-in functionality but is this what we are after though not really right uh, or another case if I wanted to say the test case right so it will give me the list of all the test cases uh, just looking for it okay test case and object you didn't find anything okay so that's fine um, we didn't find anything, so let's say test. Okay, so when I did test, right, I got this uh, under user, under object, under fields, right? You got different information. So this is an out of box functionality where you know you can pretty much you know search for the stuff. But sometimes what happens is that you might have a custom requirement, right, where you wanted to search something based on uh, an API endpoint. Or you already have a custom solution in place where you're searching stuff based on your social query or the social query what you have in place, right? So that's one of the way you can do that, but it depends upon your business requirement. But since we're talking about the PD one, so obviously uh, I would like to mention that you know there are out of box functionality, which is this is something like this. You can go and search it. This is a kind of out of box functionality. You can build your own custom solution based on your business requirement. Uh, maybe build it using uh, LWC and behind the scene, you know, type stuff you want and it will populate it. Or you can use Omni Studio, right? Um, or uh, if you wanted to just do a simple query search, you can do that as well, right? Like for instance, okay. So this is my social code, okay. Um, so find test case in all the fields returning case subject. Okay, so if I run this, I'll give this test, I'll get the test result, test case, right? So what that tells you is that I'm using a social query behind the scene and user will expect to see the desired result. But this is not always the case though. I mean, the user won't be uh, using the developer console unless you're tech savvy, that's a different story. Um, you can use the same uh, using a social query as well. Select subject from case where subject equals to test case. Yeah, so you get the same result, right? So, yeah, it depends what exactly you wanted to search. You can search from a single object, you can search from multiple object, right? You can use this option, right? If you wanted to get the value from uh, different objects, right? then like four or five objects then it's better to use the social right rather than so called but if you wanted to get different fields for a single object or maybe from a, a related list you can use the so called so um the other option i said you can also query using an api endpoint or a soap endpoint uh that's something i've seen people building it like you know when you type something it will query it from an api it may may not be a great solution based on the performance uh in the data that's transferred uh over the network and and the bandwidth and the data load a lot of things matters right so that's one of the stuff you know i've seen people doing it or sometimes other option is what they do is that uh they they cache the data uh in kind of a uh, a separate object and they will pull it using it so yeah Whichever way that works. So this is one of the small topic I wanted to cover it's because sales was added this uh, topic. So I thought you might, you guys might as well, you know, uh, better get this stuff 
no, sorry, you might as well study about this topic so that it makes it very easy for you to understand what Sokol and Sosol is about. I have already talked about Sokol and Sosol uh, in detail, right? So check that out if you wanted to know uh, more about these two topics. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this episode. Thank you.